This video demonstrates automatic data aggregation that's available with the new DevExpress release for both WPF and Silverlight charts. This feature is useful in the situation when your chart displays a very large amount of data, for example, thousands or even millions of data points, and it's necessary to have a quick aggregated overview of this data. The data aggregation works with date time or numeric data of the axis of arguments, the x-axis. In this video, I'm going to show how to customize aggregation options for the date time data. I have an application that contains main options to demonstrate aggregation of date time data. You can see data aggregation for the default chart settings in the manual scale mode. The chart control can aggregate data for different measure units. For example, I set the measure unit to month and grid alignment to year. In addition, the chart control supports numerous aggregate functions. You can see data aggregation for minimum, maximum, and sum functions. The None function disables aggregation. Next, I change the scale mode to continuous. In this mode, axis scale is not divided into intervals, and therefore aggregation cannot be applied to chart data. Finally, I select the automatic scale mode in which the chart control calculates measure units automatically, allowing you to apply one of the numerous aggregate functions to the chart data. Let's zoom into a chart. You can see how the chart control aggregates date time data. This aggregation also happens when you scroll or change the chart size. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.